dear. Mark, mm -hmm. is it okay if I have this little piece of beefsteak? Well, what do you want it for? Well, me and Tommy have been teaching Mr. Wilson's dog to bring back a steak when we throw it for him. <laughs> little Fremont. Yeah, he learned real fast, too. I see. And you want to give him a piece of meat as a reward. All right, Dennis, you may have it. Thanks, Mom. Well, it's not for Fremont. It's for good old Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson? He was lying in the hammock when I threw the stick. Boy, you never saw such a black eye. <laughs> but you can't play here. Why not? We've been playing here for a long time. Yeah, for years. Ever since we were little kids. Well, I'm sorry, but you'll just have to find another place. There's a new regulation that says you have to stay off the grass in the park. Gee, nobody told us. There's no sign or anything. Don't blame me. I just follow orders. Nobody's allowed on the grass because, well, there's a campaign on to keep the park beautiful. Sure won't look beautiful to us if we can't play in it. Those are the rules. Come on, fellas, move along. And this policeman chased you off the grass? That's right, Mom. That's funny. I've never seen a keep off the grass sign in the park. Well, there wasn't any sign, Dad. Are you sure about that, Dennis? Oh, sure. We just seen that right away. Well, it's too bad you got chased, son, but we all have to obey the law. I think I'll go over and see good old Mr. Wilson now. Supposing he chases you home. That's different. I don't mind being chased away by a friend. <laughs> I don't think we should stand for it. Stand for what? That silly policeman chasing the boys out of the park. It's the most high-handed thing I ever heard of. Well, he was just doing his job. Well, I'd say he was overdoing it. <laughs> I think you ought to go right over to that park and tell that policeman he can't treat our son that way. Uh, well, now, hold on, honey. I don't want to get on the wrong side of the law. Then you won't go? Well, I'd rather not. All right, then, I'll go. If my husband is too meek and mild to defend his own family, then I guess it's up to me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Simmer down. I'll, I'll go have a word with the policeman. I want more than a word with him. I want you to really tell him off. All right, I'll tell him off. And on my way home, I'll stop at a hardware store and see if I can buy a gun. A gun? Yeah. When a fellow lives in the same house with a tigress, he can't be too careful. <laughs> Officer, oh, officer, can I see you for a minute, please? Oh, something I can do for you? Yes, I'm uh, Henry Mitchell. I live in one of those houses across from the park. Glad to meet you. I'm Officer Grant. Oh, glad to know you. You're new on this beat, aren't you? Well, I'm new on any beat. Just got my badge a couple of days ago. <laughs> Naturally, you're eager to make good. Well, I do my best. Well, that's the spirit. However, my son tells me that you chased him and some of his friends out of the park a while ago. Now, don't you think that's being a little too eager? Well, I had to do it, sir. The department's putting in new grass seed here. Well, the boys had no way of knowing that. After all, they've been playing in this park all their lives, and all of a sudden, they're chased out with no warning at all. Well, I started to explain to them that... I could understand if there was a sign here or something like this, but... Uh... <laughs> there is a sign. Yes, there is. But my boy said there was no sign. He's usually truthful. Well, he wasn't lying, sir. The fact is that I put the sign up after they had gone. What did you say your full name was, sir? Henry Mitchell. Am I getting a ticket? Afraid so. The law spells it out for you. What? 
Now, you can mail in the $5 if you want. $5? Right. Now, you can mail in the $5, or if you want to argue, you can appear in Judge Strickland's court tomorrow. of a great naturalist. <laughs> what have you got there? That's my frog, Sam. <laughs> you keep him in your pocket? Sure, he likes it there. Sometimes he stays there all day. Get him out of here. I don't want him eating up my bulbs. <laughs> but the frogs don't eat bulbs, Mr. Wilson. Frogs eat flies. Uh-huh. Well, you fly him out of here. <laughs> Some. Oh, hi, Mitchell. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Where have you been, Dad? Oh, I've been over at the park. I should have stayed home. Let me warn you about that new park policeman, Mr. Wilson. He just gave me a ticket for walking across the grass. It's going to cost me $5. The grass in the park? But we've always walked across it before. Why, everybody cuts through there to... Not anymore, we don't. There's a new ordinance against it. The policeman chased me off, too, Dad. Yes. And Alice and I didn't think it was fair, especially Alice. So I went to reason with him, and, well, he caught me standing practically on top of the sign, keep off the grass. But there wasn't any sign there, Dad. Well, he put it up after you left. That'll teach me to mind my own business. Now, just a minute, Mitchell. How long has that sign been up? Oh, about 15 minutes. Why, this is an outrage. When there's a new ordinance like this, we should be warned about it. Why, this thing wasn't even mentioned in the newspaper. Well, it doesn't seem quite fair, but I guess the policeman has a job to do. Now, Mitchell, don't you brush this aside. If you're not willing to fight for your own sake, at least do it for Dennis. What's Dennis got to do with it? Well, he's reached the age where he should be set a good example. He's not a baby any longer. He's growing up, aren't you, Dennis? That's right, Mr. Wilson. When I lose a tooth now, I don't put it under my pillow for the good fairy to take. I go right to Dad and get my dime. <laughs> but I am setting him a good example. I, I, I broke a law and I'm paying for it. This time, the law was administered unfairly, and when that happens, it, it's, our, uh, it's our duty to fight back. Yes, that's the American way. Why, that's what we fought for in the Army at Valley Forge. <laughs> that was in the Navy, Mr. Wilson. Oh? Well, now, hear this. You have a golden opportunity to teach Dennis that he should never take injustice lying down, and I won't allow you to throw it away. Well, what are you waiting for, Mitchell? You know very well you are made a victim of tyrannized legality. It was kind of unfair. He could have given me a warning first. Aha! Now you're talking. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, officer, we'd like a word with you. Mr. Wilson, do you think we're doing the right thing? Of course I am. Justice will prevail. Well, hello, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, Hi, Sonny. What's up? Mr. Wilson says I'm old enough to be a citizen. Huh? Uh, never mind the boy. You just pay attention to me. Now, first, I'd like to point out that we are standing on the sidewalk. Well, yes, I can see that. So don't try to claim there's grass under our feet. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell, what is this? This is Mr. George Wilson. He has something to say to you. Oh, no. You're the one who has something to say. I'm merely a bystander. Well, go ahead, tell him. Well, officer, it's about this ticket you gave me. By which he means this totally unwarranted ticket, which you had the colossal nerve to force upon. Is that what you mean, sir? Well... It certainly is. He thinks you're completely out of line, and he resents it as any red-blooded citizen would. Keep talking, George. Are you saying I didn't treat you fair? Well, officer, it just seemed to me that that you could have given me a warning instead of a ticket. After all, that sign's only been there a few minutes. Well, if it was up to me, I would have. But the law is the law. I don't make it, I only enforce it. Well, he's not accepting your ticket, he's giving it right back to you. Aren't you, Mitchell? Gosh, I... Oh, here, I'll give it back, let me. Jeepers, Dad, you're not supposed to tear up a ticket. I'll pick it up. Never mind, Dennis. Just leave it there. All right, officer, what are you going to do about that? First, I'm going to give Mr. Mitchell another ticket for walking on the grass.
Then I'm going to give him a second ticket for destroying the first one. <laughs> That's interfering with an officer in the performance of his duty, you know. Paper on the sidewalk is against the anti-litter law, Mr. Mitchell. Does that answer your question, sir? Oh, all right. You've won this round. But you'll be hearing from us again. Come along, Mitchell. I appreciate what you're trying to do, Mr. Wilson, but I think you've done enough. I'd just like to pay these things and drop the whole thing. Oh, no, sir. Not on your life. Oh, you got me into this. I'm in to stay. I got you into it. Oh, don't apologize, Mitchell. I'm glad you did. I always welcome a chance to strike a blow for better government. Good old Mr. Wilson. Nothing scares him. Now, let us consider our strategy. Boy, this is exciting. What strategy, Mr. Wilson? Our plans, Dennis. The enemy has withstood our frontal attack, so we must strike him on an undefended flank. You have to use those war terms, George. I feel I should put up some blackout curtains. Oh, Martha, this is a serious business. Remember, we're doing this primarily to teach Dennis a lesson in civil rights. I agree with you, Mr. Wilson. Have you figured out a way to handle it yet? Yes, Alice, I have come to a decision. Tomorrow in court, I shall appear as your husband's legal advisor. What? I'm not sure that's a good idea, George. After all, you're not a lawyer. Well, who needs a lawyer? I can plead a case. <laughs> I'm quite an eloquent speaker. I've done a lot of speaking. I know, dear. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I don't want to go to court. Oh, come on, Dad, let's go to court. I've never seen a court. Mitchell, <laughs> it's the only thing to do. Mr. Wilson, I could go to jail on a thing like this. Boy, I've never seen a jail either. Good. Then it's settled. Now, first thing tomorrow, I'll go to the library and search the law books for material to support our position. Do we have a position? Why, we most certainly do. A strong moral position. And I shall make that quite clear to the judge. Your Honor, I will say, for years we had a right to walk anywhere we chose in that park. Then, with no previous warning whatsoever, that cherished right was rescinded. Oh, we shall keep off the grass in the future. But in this case, we feel that justice should be tempered with mercy. I rest my case. Hear, hear. I heard you too. Did you hear him, Dad? Loud and clear. Well, you had a couple of good points there, Mr. Wilson. Maybe we do have a case. Why, we most certainly do. And when we appear in court tomorrow, I'll be ready for battle. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Wilson. Yes, for heaven's sake. What's doing, Mr. Wilson? Reading your book? Well, what does it look like I'm doing, for goodness sakes? Flying a kite. No, it looks like you're reading a book. You are reading a book, aren't you? Yes, I am reading a book. Now, will you stop? <laughs> Mr. Wilson, the library lady's waving at you. She wants you to be quiet. <laughs> find something in here that will help me win your dad's case for him this afternoon. You do want him to win, don't you? I sure do, Mr. Wilson. Good. Then you go on home and... So what will help you look? What are we looking for? There is nothing you can help me with. I'm looking for a similar case of some kind. Yes, a precedent. I have to find a precedent to tell the judge about. I know a president, Abraham Lincoln. He was a swell president. You can tell a judge about him. No, 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 Dennis, that's not the kind of president I mean. He was a swell one. 
Everybody said Lincoln was the greatest. Oh, I don't care if he was. I, I, I'm not interested in Abraham Lincoln. That's not what I'm trying to find. And here. what's wrong with Abraham Lincoln, Mac? He was the oh, greatest. Oh, you keep out of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shush yourself. I'm trying to read something here and how anybody can concentrate. I must ask you to leave immediately. What? This is a public library, not a uh, hog-calling county. I will go. I can't hear myself think in this place anyhow. <laughs> Check these out to me, please. You're a nice, quiet boy, Dennis. You know how to behave in a public library, don't you? Yes, ma'am. I always just whisper. Don't I, Mr. Wilson? Here, there, dear. Any time, Dennis. Mom says to always be quiet in the public library. So I... Hey, Mr. Wilson, wait for me! Dennis! <laughs> oh, Martha. I finished my speech. Ah, how does this sound? Your Honor, I will say... We come before this bar today in the sacred name of justice. Oh, that's a good start, dear. Well, it gets better as it goes along. Your Honor, we do not believe that the law was intended as a trap for the unwary, but rather, Your Honor, that the law was meant to be administered fairly and justly. Boy, that sure was a swell speech, Mr. Wilson. What does it mean? It means I'm going to try to talk the judge into dismissing the charges against your dad, Dennis. <clears throat> the most precious thing we have, Your Honor, is our freedom. I'm sure we all feel exactly as Patrick Henry felt. Patrick Henry? Gee, our teacher was talking about him. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, Mr. Wilson. You go ahead. Thank you. I'm sure we all feel exactly as Patrick Henry felt when he said, Who's in tight? Is that what he said? What kind of English is that, German? Oh, no, Dennis. Uh, Patrick Henry didn't say Gesundheit. Mrs. Wilson sneezed, and I... Oh, for goodness sakes. Now, now, don't get upset, dear. You'll have to keep calm in court, you know. Oh, yes, I suppose you're right, Martha. Where was I? Hey, oh, yes. I'm sure we all feel as Patrick Henry felt when he said... Oh, great Scott! Oh, is that what he said? Boy, wait till I tell our teacher. She thinks he said something about giving him liberty or giving... Oh, hi, Dad. Son, Mom wants you to come home and wash up and get your jacket on. It's almost time to leave. Okay. I better change my dress. Excuse me. Boy, this sure is going to be exciting, huh, Dad? Well, yes, sir. This is our day in court. How do you feel, defendant? Well, I ate a hearty breakfast, if that answers your question. And when you hear the swell speech Mr. Wilson made up, Dad, it's terrific. Hey, Mr. Wilson, can I bring my friends to hear you? Can I bring Tommy and Chuck and Sam? Oh, uh, no, Dennis, I don't think the boys had better come. No. Okay. When we get ready to go, Mr. Wilson, I'll carry your briefcase for you. All right, Dennis, <laughs> fine. Well, Mitchell, before this day is over, that boy of yours will have learned a valuable lesson. Yes, he will. If we win, he'll learn that a man should always fight for his rights. If we lose, he'll learn that it's safer to keep his big mouth shut. <laughs>
must always tell the truth. Oh, I know all about courts, Your Honor. I watch Perry Mason all the time. <laughs> yes, sir. So I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. State your name. Andrew Strickland, Municipal. <coughs> <coughs> well, well, let's get on with the case, Mr. Wilson. Oh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Now, we feel that the defendant should have been given a warning in this case, Your Honor, instead of a citation. Mm -hmm. I have a copy here of the city code and some notes I made on similar cases. <laughs> <laughs> a little indigestion, Mr. Wilson? Oh, no, Your Honor. That wasn't I. <laughs> what is going on here? Great Scott Dennis. Hey, Judge. I forgot all about him. Oh, get him out of here. What's he doing here anyhow? I asked you, Mr. Wilson. I asked you if I could bring Tommy and Chuck and Sam. But you said the boys couldn't come. But Sam's a girl, so I... I'm sorry, Your Honor. Dennis. Here, I'll put him in Mr. Wilson's street. Oh, no, oh, here, but get yeah, this. that thing. Bailiff, take care of the uh, lady, will you? <laughs> be careful. Sam doesn't like to be held too tight. Yes, come on, come on now. Oh, no. Here, hold that down, lady, so you don't get away, will you? <laughs> Now, let's get on with the case. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, now, Dennis, I want you to tell the judge just uh, what happened yesterday morning. Now, you were playing in the park, is that right? We were playing tag on the grass where we always play. And this Mr. Officer said, you kids can't play here anymore. And he chased us off, so we all went home. Didn't you know you weren't supposed to play there anymore? Weren't there any signs on the lawn? No, sir. Oh, there were no signs of any kind on the grass at that time, Your Honor. <laughs> Therefore, we feel that the negligence on the part of the city officials should nullify the case against my client and gain for us... Let the boy talk, Mr. Uh, Mason. <laughs> the name is Wilson. Oh, my mistake. Were there no signs posted, son? No, sir. The officer put the sign up later, and he didn't tell Dad it was there. Your Honor... I intend to show mitigating circumstances here. Oh, true, Mr. Mitchell did walk on the grass, but oh, well, we've done that for years. And... <laughs> I'll take care of it, Your Honor. <laughs> I gather you don't think your dad ought to have to pay a fine, eh? No, sir, because it wasn't his fault. But I guess you do need the money awful bad, though, don't you, Judge? What? I've got four dollars in my piggy bank, and you can have that. What makes you think I need the money, Dennis? Well, Mr. Wilson said you were the poorest judge this town ever had. So if you're poor... Oh, is that so? Oh, well, that isn't what I meant, Your Honor. I... Oh, good heaven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say further that we apologize most humbly for the confusion, Your Honor. All right, never mind about that. Now, there was a violation here, Mr. Mitchell. We're agreed on that. Yes, Your Honor. I realize that you people have been accustomed to crossing the park area here for years. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. We won't do it anymore, but we always have. Furthermore, your claim that you were given no prior warning seems quite valid. I see from the arresting officer's report that the sign was posted just a few minutes before your violation. Yes, sir. I think that even a poor judge would concede the point here. <laughs> it will happen again. Case dismissed. Congratulations, Mitchell. You sure was fun, Judge. I hope Dad gets to come back here a lot. <laughs>
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.